The National Farmers Union has accused Tesco of demonising meat after releasing this advert. So, Chloe walks in from school. Daddy. She says. I don't want to eat animals anymore. I blooming love my meat, but not as much as I love my little girl. That's why we've made some changes to our old favourite, sausage casserole a la carl. Now with meat-free cumberlands. But still with my magic touch, cumin, coriander and a dollop of mango chutney. Just as tasty as it used to be. Better, actually. Food Love Stories, brought to you by Tesco. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. Our vegan campaigner Lucy Watson joins us on the sofa, as well as uh, farmer Abby Reader from her farm in Cardiff. And we'll start, first of all, actually, with, uh, with you, Abby. Um, so uh, what's, the, what's the problem with the ad? What do you think? I just think that the wording in the advert was totally unnecessary. I mean, why not just have a little girl saying, I'm not really keen on eating meat anymore? It's quite a quite a direct attack on my industry, um, and I do take offence to it. I don't want to eat animals anymore. Yeah, I feel very attacked. Relax. So, is it demonising meat? Because is it is it that the issue that they use the word "I don't want to use uh, to eat animals" rather than "I don't want to eat meat"? Well, without without sort of doing too much of an autopsy on it, it, it just seems totally unnecessary wording for what could have been a simple advert to say we have uh, a plant based alternative to a sausage here and if you would like to try it come along to a Tesco store and here it is. We produce here meat and milk which is extremely nutritious. Um, it's part of our part of our heritage, our culture and it's providing a food for people of the UK. We know that meat and dairy is in 98% of households and they enjoy it. Um, I'm extremely proud to produce it and I'm extremely proud to produce it and I just think adverts like that are Totally unnecessary. All right, thank you very much. Let's speak to Lucy here now. You've seen the advert. You don't see that there's anything wrong with it. In fact, you sort of say it's kind of a mirror image of what happened in your home yeah. when you were younger. I love that advert. It made me feel kind of like nice and warm and fuzzy inside. I thought it was really sweet. And I would just like to ask, is it, what's her name? Abby. Abby. Abby, is there anything in that advert that you think is misleading or false? Hi, Lucy. I think uh, the important thing to perhaps point out about that advert is I have been that little girl in that advert. I can remember being about seven or eight years old and going through that same thought process myself. Is it okay to, to eat meat that comes from animals that have died? Uh, and I'm, I'm one of those people who's grown up and felt that it's, it's acceptable. Equally, there'll be plenty of youngsters out there like yourself um, who will have a different opinion. I just don't see any That's need really to, to demonise my industry and to demonise my work. I was, uh, well, no one's demonising it. I was asking if there's anything false in that advert or if anyone is insulting towards you or no, any farmers. False. Exactly. So it's quite a realistic scenario that is probably happening all over the world all the time. And actually, it's, it's quite a nice scenario. It's a little girl that says they don't eat animals anymore. It's, it's, you know, a lot of children don't actually know they're eating animals. And, and other people would say it's actually, you know, a, a parent listening to the needs and wants really of nice. their child rather than sort of saying, well, yeah. well you're not, because actually that's more awkward for my weekly shop. Yeah, it's a parent supporting a, a child making quite a compassionate choice, which I think is a lovely thing. And the adverts like this don't really exist. And actually, a lot of the adverts in the meat and dairy industries are quite false and misleading. <laughs> There's all sorts of things that come into this. Um, it's, very, it's very important that people worry about the ethics of the food that they eat. And if you're specifically picking on meat or dairy, it's very important that people do think about that. But it's equally important to make sure that you're informed and that you go onto farms and find out exactly how we do produce it. But is it correct? To find that out that we are in the top three of the highest animal wealth. Sorry, is it correct that about 70% of farms in the UK are actually factory farms? Which everyone knows are extremely cruel. No, I've not. That is true. No, I've not heard that statistic. Yeah. I, am, I am one of your average farmers. I'm not a factory farm. What, what, what is the definition of a factory farm? Well, where they're enclosed in horrendous conditions and don't see the light of day their whole lives. Goodness, I, I would be amazed I that, if uh, there were many farms in the UK where an animal did not see the light of day. Can you see these cows behind me?
Can I just bring this slightly back to the advert? And I think yeah. um, what Abby said there at the beginning was it wasn't just saying I don't want to eat meat anymore, it was that I don't want to eat animals, animals anymore. And so does using that sort of language negatively influence children's perceptions of meat? I think it gives children an honest perception of meat because I feel like a lot of children are brought up not actually knowing what they're eating. Like, I didn't know what I was eating for a long time. It's only because I moved to a farm and I realised that the animals that we were raising were going off to be killed. Mm -hmm. That I then put two and two together, not even being told that, that I was then eating animals. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of children grow up not knowing by the time that they've been eating it their whole lives that they actually put two and two together. It's too far gone mm -hmm. and they don't really even think about it anymore. But we're taught as children to love animals and to care for them. And most children do love animals. And if they knew that actually they were getting brutally slaughtered, for us to eat, I think, I think they'd many be quite farmers, shocked. I think many farmers, I mean, obviously this is a very contentious yeah. issue. You use the word brutally uh, slaughtered. Well, having is, the throat which slit. Is quite, which is quite emotive. They have their throat slit. Yeah, but, but that's, not a, that's not necessarily the full common practice. But it's, they're killed but it's common practice. as well. But they're, 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 dead, they're da dead first. No, they're not. Well, that, there we go. They're, 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 let's, uh, we, we can't get into a conversation yeah, about I know, slaughterhouse I understand techniques that, of course. here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, but uh, what I, wa I would like to do, just to finish with, uh, with Abby, um, Abby, um, there have been products in the past, and there are products now, the Linda McCartney sausages, the, the vegan sausages. Uh, there's, there's uh, Greg's are doing vegetarian and vegan stuff. Vegan sausage rolls. It's all over the place now. We're encouraged to do this. Are the farmers actually essentially scared that this is a, the change to a way of life? No, not at all. Um, I produce meat, milk and crops on this farm, so I'm, I'm fully aware that some people would like to eat uh, to eat crops, eat fruit and eat veg. Mm. I think the key thing is people mustn't be scared into a diet. They must choose a diet because it's appropriate for themselves. Now that should be for health and nutrition, of course. And obviously if, if you're someone like Lucy who feels deeply, then also it's for ethics, which hopefully would come further down the line. Uh, as a farmer here in the UK and as, as farms throughout the UK, I am producing a raw product that is healthy and nutritious and is there for people to enjoy. How you choose to use that afterwards is up to you. I think if we're talking about things like this, this copy Cumberland sausage, um, I would question where all the ingredients have come from that. How overly processed is it? What is its carbon footprint? Has it come from the UK? Oh, Are those know. animal standards recognized? Um, and is it safe <laughs> and affordable for our people in this country to eat? Okay, right, thank you, Abby. We're going to have to leave it there. Get, um, Lucy, thank you for joining us as well. Tesco says our food love stories celebrate recipes both with meat and without. For those customers who tell us they're looking to eat a little less meat, our Plant Chef range offers a delicious, affordable alternative. Our aim is to always offer choice. I feel very attacked. Relax.